Wow, beautiful woman, lovely outfit, aging gracefully. That is how I love it. You know, I just love maroon <laughs> and gold because the beautiful combination, combination just does it for me anytime, any day. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to her. Now we'll move over to the 2015 Oba Ishiloku Day. Enjoy. On this day, all road led to Tafawa Baliwa Square in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, where the Ishiloku royal family of Lagos gathered to celebrate the 2015 Eshiloku Day. Eshiloku Day is an event set aside by the descendant of the 7th Oba of Lagos, Oba Eshiloku, who reigned for 39 years between 1780 to 1819. The day is to celebrate his life and what he stood for. This year's edition was particularly different as it was indeed bigger and better. Sounds of drum beats welcome everyone into the arena, which was already charged up, and everyone dressed in marching attire, ready for the different lineup of activities, ranging from water regatta, traditional performances, all in celebration of this great Oba. And we are thank God for giving us the life. And this new year is going to be a prosperous year. And members of the family, I congratulate them and I congratulate myself. I wish them a happy new year. And the chairman of the occasion, Chief Olu Okewo and his wife, Adejoke, arrived. the descendant of Oba Eshiloku for keeping his memory and legacy alive. I'm happy that they are remembering uh, a great king who ruled between 1780 and 1890. It's good for us to know the history of uh, our ancestors. As he said about uh, the Oba, he said he was a very brave man and his influence was spread out of Lagos even to up to Putemeta. So it's good they are remembering him. Oba Eshiloku was said to have 16 children whose descendants were all fully represented here, as the levels on the canopy shows the names of all the ruling houses. I discovered last year that the interest for people to know more about him um, came into the fold. And on the basis of which, after that, there was a decision to enlarge the program and to have a more befitting place that can accommodate all that are interested in the time and reign of Obe Shiloku. And that was what brought us here. According to the family, the idea of a Shiloku day started long ago after the death of Obe Shiloku whose reign, they say, was peaceful and brought prosperity to the people. It was formally turned to a huge celebration in the year 2000. We must all understand that the importance of history is to keep in view past, present and the future. Today, the event has become one that every member of the family, both home and abroad, look forward to. Well, it brings everybody together. Arrange for the children, we, by the time we left, the children will take over the program, which is continuity, continuity program. Promoting their traditional and cultural heritage, they said, remains the main focus of their gathering every December, and they hope to sustain it and pass it on from generation to generation. Adding more value to the celebration, the family has concluded plans to put in place an educational trust fund expected to be of great benefit to the youth in the family. This year, as part of our core program, is to empower people, women, children, to start educational uh, endowment fund.
kids were not left out of the fun. The high point of the occasion was a dance by the various descendants of the 16 children of Oba Ishiloki. For the family, the Ashiloko Day remains an avenue for developing and uniting the family.